Hi guys, Belados here. Um, just uh, wanted to do a little video for those of you who use Blender um, with regards to Stab in the Dark's um, discussion about smoothing groups. If you're using Blender, you can do exactly the same thing as Wings 3D very easily. In fact, a lot easier because it's automatic. Um, it's very simple, just uh, click a couple of buttons. So I thought I'd uh, just show you guys that use Blender how to smooth your groups out properly um, so that you can take it into um, Game Guru um, with it, without any issues. First things first, I'm just going to select everything on the screen. You can see down in the bottom left hand corner what buttons I'm pressing, um, although it's not important at this time. And I will get rid of everything on that screen. I will now create a cylinder and just rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees. As you can see, just like in um, Stab in the Dark's examples, it's not smooth shaded. You can clearly see the lines that make up all of the edges. In Blender, to create the smoothing groups, to, to, to give it a smooth finish, it's very simple. It's got an automatic smooth. And over on the left-hand side, under the toolbar, you will see just here, when you've got the object highlighted, a button for smooth and a button for flat. Simply click the smooth button. Now, obviously, you say, oh, but that looks a bit weird because all the edges are smoothed. Yes, it affects every single edge. To stop it doing that, very simple. You go over to the uh, menu on the right hand side and you find the object data tab. And one of the first things on the object data is normals. If you click the uh, little box for auto smooth, it will automatically um, smooth only the angles that are higher than the number in the angles box. So at the moment it's at 30 degrees. So any angle that's um, sharper than 30 degrees, it will show as sharp. Now as with um, Wings 3D you can also when you're in edit mode select a specific edge to be sharpened by simply pressing Control E and mark sharp and selecting mark sharp there. Now when we go back into object mode you can see that specific edge is now marked as sharp. You can clear that by going back in, selecting it, pressing Ctrl E, and clear sharp. And then we go back into object mode, it's smooth shaded again. And it's as simple as that. Um, just to show you also the reason for this little uh, angle thing, instead of having it set at a, a set angle, if we put an edge loop through here and we select this edge loop here and shrink it down now obviously that's nice and smooth but if we wanted that line there to be sharp we could either um, we could either highlight the edge loop press control E and choose mark sharp and then go back in or we could clear that let's control Z that that and we can actually change the angle that we're using and if as we go along let's try a little bit lower say 20 degrees there we go it's now sharpened that edge because that edge is a sharper is a, is a larger angle than 20 degrees well that's it that's all I wanted to show you um, I hope that helps you guys um, it's giving you a couple of options there um, for smooth, smooth shading. Um, thanks for listening.